what's up guys my name is Ilyas and this is your 22nd tutorial on jQuery and you know in the previous tutorials we created this frame and this uh, overlay and now we are going to add some interactivity using jQuery and we will make this overlay and frame appear only when we click on the thumb thumbnail alright so let's just go ahead and uh, enable display none I mean enable display none yeah in this frame and overlay so they are hidden by default and we only want them to appear when uh, the thumbnails are clicked so um, we want to uh, proceed to our script but before we uh, start programming we need to add the script and we need to add the jQuery um, core as well so and we did it in the very first tutorials so you just need the script tag and the source property and set it to uh, JS script.js and uh, before that you have to actually add jQuery so I'll just go to our folder and uh, copy the jQuery uh, file name and just add the same tag and create the source property and the jQuery core is stored in the JS folder JS and yes so now we're all set now we uh, connected jQuery to our web page so now we have the script and as I told you in one of the first tutorials you would want to use this jQuery built-in function which will run the code only when the whole of the entire page is loaded so do not forget to add this function and and please write your uh, the whole code within this function. So uh, <clears throat> what are we going to what are we going to do now? We have to uh, create a click function, a click um, event for the thumbnail. And let's take a look at the thumbnails first. Well, we have this uh, UL unordered list of portfolio and this uh, list elements and images. So what I want to do, I want to track this image when it's clicked. And this image is inside of this uh, unordered list with the ID of portfolio. So we can easily create a jQuery selector on this portfolio first. Portfolio, I hope I spelled it right. And then empty space and say IMG. So it will track, it will create an event um, for uh, every image inside of this portfolio and then use this quick function we, which we used a lot in the previous tutorials and inside of this brackets the magic is going to happen so uh, if you want to select the image that very image which is clicked because right now we uh, well this is a common selector for every image but if you want to get the image which is clicked you can use this this selector and now we kind of uh, grab the image which is actually was clicked and um, so what, I, what I'm gonna do with it I want to get its source I want to get its uh, source to, to, uh, to the image I'll, I'll create a variable called src and set it equal to uh, this dot attr which means attribute attribute and uh, let's just grab the attribute of source of this image element. So, the, in this variable source, we store this source property. So, just the path to this image, because we uh, want to get the path to the image uh, when we uh, when the image is clicked. And uh, now we can select the frame, the frame, um, because the frame is this white box with the image and this frame contains an image and we want to select the image inside of this frame and set its source attribute to the source attribute of the th thumbnail which was clicked so let's just go ahead and copy this source right here so what this line of code does it grabs this image which is inside of this frame looks for the attribute source and sets it equal to this uh, values um, this values this uh, variables value well it sounds kind of tricky but uh, when we are done with it you will see how, how it works and what you also are going to do we want to uh, want the overlay and the frame to appear so let's select the frame again and 
use this fade in function we already used and we also want to fade in the, the overlay I forgot the parentheses and I forgot the route <laughs> overlay dot fade in and make sure you spell this I uh, uppercase okay and now I think this code is going to work and we can go ahead and test it so I'm gonna click on this image and it worked so you see this image is displayed on the frame and the rest of the page got dark but uh, we have we also have to style the the frame because this picture is too large so we want this picture to be centered and this is something we are going to do in the next tutorials alright guys thanks for watching I hope you guys learn new stuff and I'll see you guys in the 23rd tutorial have a nice one